Now, who needs fancy satellites when you can get brilliant images of the Earth for just a few hundred pounds? British inventor Robert Harrison has managed to film pictures of Earth using a digital camera, loft insulation, a balloon and, yes, some duct tape. Danny Savage explains. This photo was taken by an astronaut on the Space Shuttle Endeavour. The average cost per mission, £300 million. This is a photo taken from a British amateur scientist balloon. Average cost per mission, £500. Very simple, basically. Insulated box made out of polystyrene, covered in some sellotape. Camera, straightforward point and click camera, and a little tracking device for uh, keeping track of where the camera is throughout the whole duration of the flight. And the simple box of tricks is sent skyward by Rob, usually from a special launch site where it won't get in the way of aircraft. Now, if you think this balloon looks big at the moment, when it reaches its full height, it's about 22 metres across. It eventually bursts and then it's parachuted back down to Earth. And then Robert uses a special tracking device to find the camera and download the images. Absolutely astounded with the results. Like, spectacular. Just seeing, being able to see like the curvature of the Earth, the Earth's atmosphere, the thin blue line that which we live and breathe in, and then of course the blackness of space. It was just unbelievable. Absolutely uh, well, chuffed to bits, I guess. <laughs> and who can blame him for being proud? The commercial airliner flies six and a half miles high. A U-2 spy plane cruises 17 miles up, but Rob's balloon looks down on them both from an altitude of 21 miles. But when that balloon goes pop, this is what happens. Shortly followed by Rob lurking in the countryside, looking for his pictures. NASA were impressed, wanting to know how Rob had done it, but he now wants to get young people interested. We're trying to encourage our kids to be interested in science. If I did this as a kid at school, I would have remembered it forever, taking pictures from space. I mean, fantastic science project. And it's well within the budgets of schools. And more budget missions to the edge of space are planned for this year. Danny Savage, BBC News, West Yorkshire.